If only you have proof of your age, then you'll be allowed. Final day proceedings kicked off with a technical committee enforcing the competition's golden rule of zero tolerance for age cheats. I'm four people. Five, come this way. Five. Five. It was a thorough screening process that eventually had Diane, Christlead, St. Paul's Anglican, and Rockford Primary Schools disqualified from the tournament. How old are you? With three schools from Campus Quest Center now out of the race, Linkcrest School from Ikorodu were gifted a place in the national finals. We are calling champions, champions. Time to find out the other team that will represent Lagos. Uncle Bayus and National Primary School got the quarterfinal action on the way. It was a tough match and the coaches felt the heat. Five, five for both. Yeah, yeah. Let this ball now. Yeah, let's go. Go in here. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Penalty number two. Goalless after regulation time. Penalties will decide the winner. Losses, penalty. Take this time and he scores. Okay, with a penalty kick. And it's been the boys from Yaba won 4 3 in the shootout. Uncle Bayus will not be at the Nationals. After a two hour break, the team returns to take on the Mount Foundation for the remaining slots in the National Finals. It was an easy ride for the National boys. They swept aside their opponents with a convincing 7 0 victory. Brilliant goal there by and that man there in jersey number 17 has pushed the ball up front. Olawale Salami is still going. He beats one, he beats two, and he's still going. He's entering into the box and he beat the third man. Can he make something out of this? He passes the ball out to Jamsuddin. Fantastic goal there by Jamsuddin Karim. And the referee signals the end of the game. Linkrest joined in the celebration, and as both teams exchanged pleasantries, they will be hoping to represent Lagos with distinction. Austin Okonakran, Channels Television News.